Unit 3, Module 8, Gathers. By the end of this module, students will be able to recall the history of gathers, identify the types of gathers and also identify usage of gathers in fashion, accessories and home furnishings. Page 5. In this module, we will learn about the history, types, usage of gathers in contemporary fashion, accessories and home. Definition Customarily used to manage fullness in a clothing. Gathering is a sewing technique for shortening the length of a strip of fabric to facilitate a longer section of fabric to be attached to a shorter section. The image on the left roughly shows how a gather can be achieved by making running stitches by hand and pulling the thread. On the right, the image shows how this gather could be incorporated onto a final product. The picture here shows usage of gathers as a decorative element on the sides of a cushion. On the left, we see a gathered skirt and on the right is a bag with gathers. Page 10. History of gathers. The usage of gathers was primarily decorative but also functional in a number of ways mainly to increase the volume. Ancient gathering techniques were gen generally bisexual in application. The picture we see here is that of Paul Revere, an image dated to 1776. Gathering technique is visibly evident in the shirt gathered at the shoulder and at the cuff. Please take a moment to observe the details of the outfits shown in this image. The dress has back gathers and long sleeves. This high waist gown was a noted fashionable garment among women during this period. Can you recall that this is the Empire Silhouette. Shown here is a practical garment worn by agricultural and manual workers 
as a protective clothing and enveloping apron like shirt to keep their clothes clean while working. Drafted out from rectangular pieces of cloth, gathering is induced to create shape. Gathers can be widely categorized into two types considering their linearity and spacing. One is splitting or plating, the second one is shearing or gouging. Apart from this, there is also ruching. Pleating or plating. Pleating is a gathering type where the folds are generally handmade, pinned together and stitched over. Shearing or gouging. Shearing or gouging is a decorative method where a piece of fabric is first gathered with multiple rows of stitching across the entire length. It is then attached to a foundation or lining to hold the gathers in place. Rushing. A large number of folds are introduced in one row. In turn, it produces many small vertical or horizontal ripples or rushes in the fabric with effectively little pleats. How is it done? Gathering is done by using hand or by machines automatically with elastic and through channels. Like shown, gathering by hand and machine involves stitching across the edge of the fabric and pulling on the loose thread to draw up the fabric into many folds. The fullness of a gathering is determined by the density of the mini folds in combination with the stitch length. The types of gathers. Based on how it is made, gathers can be divided into five different types. Hand gathering, machine gathering, automatic gathering, elastic gathering and channeled gathering. What we see here is an image of a handmade gather. It is a technique done on one or more rows of running stitches. The more rows of stitches, the deeper the gathers produced. When the rows of stitching are parallel and identically spaced, the gathers look like fine pleats. Machine gathering. It can be done using a straight stitch with the top tension of the machine loosened and the fabric gathered onto the bobbin thread and is faster than hand gathering. 
On the other hand, zigzag gathering will withstand the strain of long lengths or heavier fabric and is done by encasing the gathering cord under one or more rows of zigzag stitch. Automatic gathering. Rather than arranging the fabric afterwards, it is performed while sewing. It requires the use of a gathering foot or a more complicated ruffler. Both lock an extra piece of fabric automatically into the stitches as the sewing is done. The picture here shows a gathering pressure foot attached to the sewing machine. Elastic gathering. This is done by straight stitching with elastic on the bobbin. It results in a soft gather. A fuller gather can be achieved by doing a zigzag over the cord elastic which is stretched during stitching. Using elastic in the bobbin is a common practice used to make shearing effects. Channel gathering. This is achieved by either stitching a casing through which a length of cord, ribbon, rod, etc. is placed or by creating loops, holes or slots through which the gathering element is woven. The following are the specific techniques to form gathers with rows of basting stitches. Zigzag stitching over a string or heavy thread. Gathering using a ruffler foot. Gathering using rows of basting stitches. You can achieve an evenly gathered ruffle of fabric on light to medium weight fabric using two or three rows of basting stitches. The stitches will not be seen and can be sewn with thread that does not match the fabric to achieve a contrast effect. Gathering using a zigzag stitch over string or heavy thread. This method works exceptionally well on heavy fabrics and rigid fabrics and home decor fabrics. If the fabric is heavy and causes the thread to break while sewing, we will have to experiment and Try to gather the fabric with a different tension. Gathering using a ruffler pressure foot. A ruffler pressure foot will ruffle the fabric as you sew it, keeping the ruffle perfectly even due to the variations in shank height. Contemporary usage of gathers in fashion. Gathering technique has a multi-level usage in different fabric 
and design industries from apparel to footwear to accessories. Gathering is a fabric manipulation technique that is generally created by using hand stitching to create areas of tension and release in the fabric. This results in very sculptural effects that can sometimes appear far more complex than they actually are and this in turn helps create a multitude of design elements in different facets of design. Following are some applications. Now let us look at some examples of use of gathers in contemporary fashion. Usage of gathers in women's wear at the waistline. Please note the empire waistline in the image shown here. The goal is to have a fitted garment at the waistline that will get fuller at the bottom. It is one of the most common usage of gathers. The image here is from Resort 2018 collection on one of the runways. It has fabric with streaks of silver print and gathered at the empire waist. Natural waist. Full gathered skirts were a common thing in fashion from the 40s to 50s and early 60s. Of course, they were also commonly used in more ancient history. The image on the left shows a 1940s style fashion garment. Please note the gathers on the waist. The picture on the right is a pure black strapless sleeveless gown by Suhair Murad with glazing embellishments. Low waist. This kind of waist prevalently found in the 50s with the long torso also has gathers. On the left is a black and white checkered dress by Marissa Webb. Spring 2017 ready to wear. In this case, gathers have been used as a separate layer creating a flounce. Flounces have been discussed in detail in another module. The picture on the right shows a white long torso sheer fabric waist dress. This outfit is from Jonathan Simkai Fall Collection 2018. What we are seeing here is called the tired skirt. Gathers are used to make tired or ruffled skirts. Ruffles can also be added 
to different parts of a garment as an embellishment. We can see overall usage of gathers in the image on the left from Jonathan Simkai, Resort 2018. Frills are a result of gathering. On the right, we can see abundance of frills and floral appliques bunched together, giving a sophisticated and mature look. This is a ruffle skirt, interestingly gathered layers and is in an asymmetrical form, making this skirt unique. On the left is a dark turquoise free flowing dress with gathers. On the right is a feminine ruffled skirt which pairs well with a variety of tops from button downs to statement shirts to simple graphic tees. Please note the ruffles created by gathering fabric in an asymmetrical form. In this picture, ruffles have been achieved by gathering fabric at the bottom of a tunic, dress or skirt. In this case, a separate strip of fabric has been gathered to achieve a ruffle and then attached to the bottom hem of the garment. On the left, we see a strapless top strapped with a layer gathered skirt by Jonathan Simkai, fall 2018, ready to wear. The pictures on the right shows more examples of gathers. Please note the sleeves in this outfit. A separate piece of fabric or a broad strip of fabric has been folded into two and gathered to create a ruffle and attached to the sleeve hem. The picture on the left is from Marling spring summer 2018 ready to wear. It has an overhauled sleeve ruffle. The picture on the right shows bold ruffles on a prairie dress. In this case, the gathers have been formed at both the sides providing a balloon shape for the sleeves. A similar effect could be achieved on the body or a skirt too. It will produce an egg shaped silhouette which we learnt in the previous module. When we say ruffle, it basically means that a strip of fabric has been gathered. Please note the neckline in this outfit. The neckline has been decorated with gathered ruffles. The picture on the left shows a contrast ruffle neckline by Jean Battista Valli in Paris Fashion Week. In this case, the collar is 
inspired by a collar used in ancient times. Can you try to recall it? On the right is multi layered effects using ruffles by Gucci. The ruffles used here or the gathers used here provides an angel or fairy kind of look. The image here shows ruffles stitched under your yoke. The picture on the left shows a smocked front yoke with elegant ruffle bordering by Blue Girl Fall Winter 2017-18. On the right is an engineer dress with a broad shoulder line and ruffle detailing at the yoke for spring 2017. Another example of gathering at the neckline but this time it is in kids wear. The picture on the left is from Prabal Gurang Runway in a blue high neck ruffled blouse. The picture on the right is a black ruffle neck mini dress. This picture shows gathering at the bust. On the left is a green satin gown with gathers at the bust by Simone Rocha for spring. On the right is an orange loose dress by Salvatore Ferragamo, spring 2018 ready to wear. The volume at the waist and the looseness is achieved by gathering the fabric. This picture shows gathering at the sleeve forming a puff. The picture on the left shows a dramatically gathered sleeve effect at Paris Fashion Week Spring Summer 2018. The picture on the right shows structured gathers finished at sleeve by Givenchy for spring collection. Gathers at the sleeve often produces a puffed effect. Some examples of gathers in casual wear. The picture on the left shows women's sharing gather bandu sleeveless maxi long summer dress. The picture on the right shows a strapped fit and flare floral dress. The picture on the left is from Dice Hayek Resort 2018 fashion, white and black embroidered with gathers and a button up shirt and again a gathered skirt. 
The picture on the right is a casual khaki rayon tunic with frills in the front, gathers on the waistline and utility pockets on both the sides. It also has a straight sleeve with elastic gathers at the hem. Use of gathers in contemporary men's fashion. Men's fashion has never escaped the experimentation of designers. A men's gathered side seam casual trousers. This is a picture of a Scottish confederate with plaid shell jacket. Can you spot the gathers in the front of the shirt? Please note the light ruffle neck in this fancy white pirate shirt. This image shows usage of gathers at the cuff of a tailored shirt. On the left, gathers has been used at the knee to create baggy effect. The picture on the left shows pleats formed by gathers used in men's casual pants to create space and comfort. gathers in kids wear. Usage of gathers in kids wear. Please note the image here. The, we can see gathers at the waistline. Here is a beautiful dress on the left with gathers combined with lace and threads. On the right is a kids overall printed frock with gathered detailing at the waist. On the left we can see a night gown with gathers at the sleeve, at the waist and at the bottom hem. On the right is a traditional kids wear orange dress with multi layered gathers and golden borders. This is an outfit from the Mona Lisa fashion show array of kids wear showcasing different design elements of gathers and ruffles.
gathers in accessories. This is a heeled sandal with a ruffled or gathered detailing in the front. An image from Proenza Schuler Runway Fashion Show 2018. We can spot a shoe with gathers at the opening. In this image, we can see a cascade ruffle accessory to jazz up a shirt. Please note the gathers in the socks. What we are seeing here is a collar with gathers details. This is an image of a ruffle scarf. An image of a tote bag giving the accessory a floral flow. The layers of ruffles have been formed by gathering the fabric. Please note the gathering detail in these gloves. This image is self explanatory. It has a gathered asymmetrical detail on one side. It is a clutch. This image shows sneakers with ruffle detailing in suede fabric. In this men's boots, the gathered detailing has been obtained. In this men's boots, this effect has been achieved by gathering the material. This is an image of a sneaker. Can you spot the gathers on the sides of the shoe? Page 81. Slight gathers can be seen in this lace up shoe. Again, the pleated effect seen in this former shoe is achieved by gathering the material. Contemporary usage of gathers in home furnishings. Please note these cushion covers, how the fabric is closely gathered and placed closely together to achieve this effect. This is an image of a gathered bed skirt. This image shows gathering details on the bed linen and also on the pillow covers. This image shows a gathered lampshade cover. This image shows 
gathered curtains curtains are always synonymous with gathering we can see decorative gathers here it is interesting to see that beads have been incorporated in between the gathered fabric usage of gathers in contemporary maternity wear usage of gathers in maternity wear the usage of gathers is phenomenal in maternity wear a gather dress beautifully shows the bump making her look very elegant due to the volume and flair achieved with the usage of gathers it also provides a lot more comfort than an ungathered garment thus providing free movement in the image here we can see a summer classic garment with a fashionable neckline gathered shoulders and with a hidden stretch in the waist the image on the left shows an emerald colored dress with gathers in the front the picture on the right is a maternity dress with a flattering crossover design highlighting the empire waistline plenty of gathers fall around the bump and give space for the belly to grow picture on the left shows a fancy high waist dress with gathering the picture on the right shows a plain dress with boots for an outdoor look which is very simple yet gorgeous in appearance picture here shows men's shoulder yoke gathers in this case gathers has been achieved by the usage of drawstring passed through a loop made in the fabric the picture here shows gathers made with very sheer fabric picture here shows an undone men's cuff gathering the picture here shows a t-shirt with an asymmetrical hemline and casual fit gathers please note how intricately the fabric has been manipulated to form gathers scope of gathers a futuristic approach using gathers one can create futuristic styles functionality and comfort when trends are shifting from only aesthetics to functional fashion and comfort gathers can prove to be quite useful asymmetry asymmetry 
is an untapped market which gives out clear access to gathers and ruffles. Delayering layers. Layers can be, if and when required, undone with the effective usage of gathers. Thank you.